Hello everyone and welcome to 2024 at the Game Emporium where two friends have gathered to talk about some board yeah. games. Um, it's it's the time of year where we, we gather around, we talk about board games, we figure out what the hell we're going to do about games in the next year or so and talk about what yep. we've done in the last year. My name is Luke, that is Ross. Hey. And uh, yeah, we're just doing a little bit of a recap of 2023 in our year in gaming and then we're going to look at forward to our challenges that we've set ourselves for next the next year ish there's a there's a slight disclaimer on yeah. the ish we'll explain that as we get to it um yeah. how how has your year in gaming been ross how do you think it went without looking at the um, stats just in general just in general yeah uh yeah all right actually i um i mean again we, we're going to go to it in a little bit but i have set some fairly lofty goals although not maybe not as europe not as much as about you're about to attempt um but uh did okay i think the thing that i did a lot of last year and i think i want to do less of this year mm. is weirdly is play lots of new games i played so many new games yes. last year and um you get a bit i don't know fatigued blinded to like to all the new and a little bit i'm like i just got so many so many games yeah. that I know I love I should just be making sure I'm playing those rather than being like oh what's the next new shiny thing or even just the old shiny thing to play necessarily so yeah. um, I think unless someone's very specifically is like this is I love this game this is my favourite game you need to play this mm. I'm going to be a bit like eh, I don't have to play that game just because it's a new game to be played yeah I, I mean that's fair I mean we can we can look at that as part of our stats for the year I mean mm, we can. I think you're right. I we definitely had that fatigue. I mean, I'm looking at how many new to me games I played, and whew, it's significant in comparison yeah. to like some of the old ones, which I think is what's fed into the challenges I've chosen to do. So, then again, yes. some of the games, some of the new to me games last year, are in my top ten, yeah, top exactly. twenty yeah, games yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. So they've yeah. kind of they've risen up, but it's not necessarily 2023 releases. There, yeah. a lot of them are older that we've just discovered yes. this year which is kind of thing maybe yeah. we'll do a video about that at some point we've kind of got to get yeah. through our 20 <laughs> the rest of our year series we're sort we of do. interrupting to talk about this one before it stops being relevant because yes. other, otherwise <laughs> we're talking about we hey, can't be having this conversation yeah going how's your challenge going well the challenge that i started five months ago luke is going great yeah. which i told you about in the mid, beginning of it mid so, june yeah. we're just like yeah this is this is yeah. uh, this is how we do it we're not doing well lads um, kind of thing, but yeah. So let's have a look at what mm. we mm. did in mm. our last year. How many plays did you have last year, according to your BG Stats app? Um, this, so is, this is where we're getting last... the information from, by the way. We've recorded them on yes, Board Game Stats yes, app, yes, 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 including digital plays. I think that's probably key to point out. We yes, included that our... is very key to point because, like yeah. BGA games, we've played them. We have played games on BGA. Yeah. That's definitely a yeah. thing. Well, you know, again, uh, you know, I've got a kid, and I know people wiggle around it, but it limits the time, right? So you've yeah. got to play the games when you can play the games. Anyway, so I had 724 plays last year. That's um, respectable. How many different think, games? So, uh, different games, but there's 243 different games. Okay. So, um, um, so you know, I, I, it looks like I played multiple games multiple times which is you know the, again this is the good thing that i was talking talk about i don't want yeah. to be like a one and done kind of uh thing. experience yeah, yeah. i particularly hate, hate hate the game right so and that has happened um, like we did play a few games yes, that were just like yes nope. <laughs> uh, yes yeah um a lot a huge chunk of those as well um of those games were new to me like over half of them were brand new games to me so yeah um i i played a thousand exactly yeah. Times. Oh, nice. Exactly 1,000 plays in 2023, apparently. Was that intentional? Did you squeeze no. in like a five minute game at the end of it or something? No, I, to... that, was, that was, I didn't even realize that until I uh, logged it. So that's, uh, yeah. that's an interesting thing. Until I looked at these, the review uh, of the insights. Mm. Um, of that, 314 different games and 179 of them were new to me. Okay. So that yeah. is quite a bit. But then again, there's 12 games that I played at least 12 times. So. The H index is is twelve on that one. I play twelve games twelve different times. Yeah, I've got eleven on my H index, so yeah. actually we seem to be again similar on that. Yeah, and I've played with one hundred and eighty-seven different people. Now, some of those, admittedly, it's probably that number's probably higher 
because a lot of them will have gone under anonymous because I couldn't be bothered I to... Think it's still tr- I think it still tracks... Well, it, yeah, but it lumps the... them all as anonymous rather than individual people. I don't know whether it does that, but... Uh... I think it does. I think it's still their, their own thing because I know where I've gone back previously on BG Stats and then added a name later on it's then been able to find them on the previous games to update it oh maybe so that means that it's logged i mean i've got 442 different players you you play a lot more on groups on bga though i just jumped in with a lot of the same people in particular discord groups rather than uh, like big bg day groups which is fine like do whatever you want to do to play um yeah yeah so that is a that's a lot of games the person i played with the most who do you think that is uh, me? Yes. You. I played 270 games with you. 270. Oh, that's funny. I've got 281 on my side. Interesting. We might have to reconcile that at some point and figure out what... Maybe. There must be some games, probably physical plays, where we've just not uh, sent the file to each other probably more likely. Than Possibly, thing, yeah. Uh, that probably. could be possible. Um, um, and I've played 207 with Laura. Ah, nice. I have played... Yeah, I mean, I had 281 with you. And then the next two people are actually two people I play a lot of digital games with from one of those groups. Yeah. Which is John and Jess. Shout out, not that they ever watch this video necessarily, but shout out to them. Um, they will. We'll send this to around, them. <laughs> they will send it to them now, yeah. Uh, at around 120, 130-ish for uh, each one of them. Slightly more for John because I met him at... Um, Aircon West. Aircon. Um, and so we, we played some physical games as well. Yeah. So. What uh, yeah. what were your top five played games? Oof, okay. Uh, top five played games were, I mean, unsurprisingly, uh, Tapestry number one. Tapestry was my number one with 75 uh, plays. Because I forced you to uh, to play it probably. A little bit. Um, Castles of Burgundy. That's my number two. Number two. 41 plays. Uh, Bunny Kingdom in my number three. I had Sea Salt and Paper. I think we're going to have a lot of variation on these last ones. Railroad Inc. Similo for me. Okay, and then lucky numbers. Uh, wingspan. So uh, I, I, ha- I think there's a little bit of variance in the types of games. Like you do a lot of yeah. quick, sharp plays of things. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas I sometimes like to have longer games in it. Like I played Ultimate Railroads like What's twelve times. Which interesting is, is you cut that off at number five, but my number six is Sky Team, and yeah. we didn't start playing that really until like December, towards the end of yeah, last just... year. And so I just blitzed a lot of games. You did um, a lot of Sky Team, yeah. Um, at the end of last year, so. I've, I've definitely burnt myself out on a couple of games um, on that list. Yes. I don't feel like I need yeah. to play Castle of Burgundy ever again. A lot of people love yeah. that game. I'm kind of like, eh. Um, I still enjoy it, but yeah, I get, I get that feeling 100. It's just um, yeah. and Tapestry. I think I did my I redid my top 100 just out of curiosity sake. Yes, um, because in preparation for doing my one of my challenges, and Tapestry has dropped from like four or five to 15. Ooh, like, okay. I still like playing it, but I'm kind of like I've played a lot yeah. of Tapestry over yeah. the last year. Yeah, that's fair. So I, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with not playing it as frequently. Um, so yeah, so that is our place, and that kind of yeah. leads into what our challenges were for last year. So yeah. last year, Laura and I sat down and we did a ten by ten. We set ourselves a ten by ten challenge um, to play ten games ten times. Laura did not succeed at that one at all. We did not really... I think her yeah. most was Villainous. We played that six times. Um, the rest was sort of two or three. Yeah, um, Robin Hood, for example, you were shared, didn't you? We both had The Adventures of Robin Hood. Yeah. Um, which we played 15 times, I think, because we played through the entire yeah. campaign, plus an expansion, plus the expansion, um, and a couple of extra plays that were sort of tacked in there as well, of like what our scenario is. So I managed to do my 10 by 10 which was... Yay! Um, yeah. There's a few. There were a few easy wins in there. To be fair, but you know what? It was my challenge. That's what I wanted to do. So I, I managed yeah. to do that. That was my only real challenge that I had last year. What, what did you have? Well, I had two. One was to play through all of my games at least once. Yep. Um, so mainly so I could make the decision sort of what do I want to keep, what do I want to get rid of this mm-hmm. year. And I've already sold three games so far this year. Just you have? a little bit from off the back of that. Um and and also just because like I said before I want to you know I've got a lot of games I want to make sure actually I'm actually playing them mm-hmm. and the other one I had which I kept upping to be fair so it was a bit of a silly challenge maybe was to play new games to me yes um 
and I think I started off with something like 15 new games or something. Yeah. But by the end of the year, I'd increased that to play 150 new games. Yeah. Because I believe, as we just discussed a minute ago, we played so many new games. I think by like March or something, I think I already had like 66 or something like new games played. Yeah. Um, and so I'm like, well, this is silly. I, I like either I'm just going to complete this, not really a challenge at this point, really, because I've just I've done it. So. Um, yeah, I just boosted it basically in, until the end. So, and I still did complete that. Yes. So I got the 150 games played. Um, but like I say, I think that has weirdly not had. I thought, oh, I'll expose myself to lots of different games mm-hmm. and I can you know, maybe uh, see some more genres, uh, understand games better, all this sort of stuff. But I think the reverse had happened a little bit where I got to the point I'm like, I could just. I glaze over now when I'm like listening to rules. I cannot listen to a. A, um, a teach <laughs> another video teach like, yeah. I just can't it's just um, I mean, I, it's just so painful I also I think I also did that um, new challenges one I just kind of gave up on logging it quite so much because it's just yeah. like I'm just doing this anyway because people are like oh there's new games coming to board game arena all the time yes like going yes. to conventions people were like oh can we play this it's like sure I don't know how yeah. to play this but teach me how to play it kind of thing so it was easily like as we said I did a lot of new games like 170 yeah. odd um, so 150 wasn't that too hard i also did the yeah. alphabet challenge actually was one which was interesting yes. just i just did that randomly but by the time i started doing that i think i started doing that in march i had already completed like 80 percent of it just yeah. from the games i've been doing so it was just a case of i'm just hunting out games that begin with x y and z yeah. and it was okay it was just yeah. a case it was just it was fun to do for a little bit but then by like june i'd done it so yeah Kind of. I think some of the challenges around like the alphabet challenge and all that sort of stuff is just a bit um, uh, I mean I'm I mean I'm not gonna value out of it, so other people can't get the enjoyment out of it. But I like don't I don't I don't see like the I don't get the enjoyment, I don't understand the way you no. get the enjoyment from that necessarily. It's, it's so. more of like hitting um, a target and succeeding on it and trying to get because like trying yeah. to play I think the the best sort of challenges are ones where you're playing either your favourite games or like a particular type of game. Yeah. Like I want to play ten worker placement games, yeah, kind of thing, and that's I think I feel like that's refined our choices of what the challenges are going to be this time around. Yes, yes. Oh, just quickly, quickly on my to play through my collection, I didn't succeed. I think I was twelve games short Something by like the that, end yes. of it, but pretty much the twelve games I had at the end were either we were very niche games in the sense that we were like big group party games or yep. or two player games, but with some sort of complexity to it. Or they were duplicates of games that I kind of. So, for example, Tesuro, I have th- I had three different copies of Tesuro. Yep. And so I kind of played one copy and went, I don't really need to be playing the other two copies here. So they would be like the least priority on, on yeah, yeah, to complete yeah. those. Um, the stuff where I have like Dixit and Stella, they are sort of different games, but they're they probably well the same. Well. Um, Obscuro, Mysterium, uh, Mysterium they, Park. All yes, the same. exactly. Like yeah. that. I don't need to play all three of those. So it, by the end of it, I was kind of a bit like, oh, I don't feel the pressure to like necessarily complete the challenge by completing all those games. Yeah. So uh, you may hear um, some snoring, by the way, in the video because uh, Tilly is at my. Feet I, I can't hear anything yet, so unless the I think, microphone's picking. Up, I mean, my microphone maybe. might be picking up. I can hear it, so it may be, but she's yeah. directly below me. Um, so yeah, I think I was just shy of of completing that challenge, but I'm not upset about the fact that I didn't complete it because it did its purpose. Like we we're just talking about a second yeah. ago. I know what games I want to I want to cut off that list. I know what games I did and didn't like during that that time. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. And that's kind of what I said. We kind of led that to inspire what our challenges are going to be this year. So let's let's have a talk about what we want to do in twenty twenty four ish. So Ross, do you want to go first? You have one more challenge than I do because I you do, have yes. you have slight well, you have less commitments throughout the year than I do. In a way. Uh, yes, that is also true. Um, I also um, I do want to cover off because you said ish. Should we cover off first a little bit? Yeah. So, so yeah, go for it. So typically, obviously, you know, you do it like oh, we've got an annual challenge or yearly challenge. I'm going to run from the first all the way through to the 31st of December, basically. So we just run the whole year. Mm-hmm. What we're what we're going to do um, is actually run. Well, I'm running from Christmas Day. Yes, is what I've selected. Good. Um, so we're going to be going for because that's a good chunk of time where you get like a new game or something like that. You're playing mm-hmm. that new game, um, and once you get it on the 
uh, you could potentially have it on the other end. It feels actually, it feels more like the beginning and end of a board game year rather than yeah, of yeah. like the calendar year because you've got the opportunity to get open up some presents and have a couple of new games or have family around and all be playing games and stuff together. Yeah. And I don't want the last few days of the year to be like that crunch time to be like, I definitely need to play this one game to complete my challenge or whatever. I'd rather be like, oh, I've a bit more freedom and openness on playing, on playing those on the other side. Yeah, so. I've, I've done that on one of my challenges. The other two I have gone from yeah. year, calendar year to calendar, okay. calendar year. Nice. Just, okay. just because of the nature of those particular games. And we'll get into that in a yes. little bit. Sure. So what's your first challenge, Ross? So with that said, right, I'll cover off the... Um, uh, what should I cover off? I'll cover off the boring kind of one, but it's not really that boring. But it's just physical plays of my favourite games. Yeah. So um, we said we play a load of BGA um, uh, and some other other tools as well, getting playing online. And actually, uh, you know, I've, bought, I've spent real hard-earned money on some board games and um, some cardboard and some plastic. I should be using that cardboard and plastic, really. So... Um, so yeah, so I haven't defined the exact games yet. I'm going to be looking to do that probably in the next couple of days, I think, really. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely on the list is stuff like Tapestry, where I basically want all of the comp everything for it now. So um, waiting for the upgrade or the updated yep. sieves. Um, but then I would definitely have everything for that. Uh, stuff like Lisboa, which I really, really love. Mm -hmm. So just any games which I'm like, oh, I just need to s just sit in actually play some more of these games they're probably going to be the bigger games as well mm -hmm. because it's sort of my wheelhouse a little bit um but uh yeah so it's just trying to get through some of those and i think i'm going to go for a fi just five plays yeah that's like, even that might be too that might be too much i'm not really sure i've got a lot of crossover of games between all of my challenges so i'm hopeful that it's not too extreme but i realized that if i put five games five plays that's already like 25 games to be played and that's i mean i don't, I don't play that many games that, f that frequently to be mm -hmm. honest with you like physically like it can be a bit challenging on that so um yeah hopefully i'm not stitching myself up but we'll, yeah. we'll see we'll see how many games i select how many favorites i have yeah exactly whether you go into your top 10 um my first one i think i'm gonna go with mm. is last year i got really into final girl like ridiculously yes. into Final Cut. Like, I discovered it as like, eh, am I going to want to play a solo-only horror game? Like, the two things that were kind of like, eh, solo-only and horror. Horror is not my mm -hmm. genre at all. So, finding how good of a game it is and how easy it is for me to play just blew me out of the water. So, I am going to be challenging myself to play everything I have of Final Girl. Nice. So, okay. I have got on this apparently i've got 20 different like because of the way the game is set up yeah. it's a it's yeah. a core box and then there's expansions and promos and all sorts of things that can be yeah. mixed and matched and shuffled in together so you've got your uh, feature film sets which have got your villains locations and and characters that you can mix in with the core sets but i've also got a promo i think it's paul Emming's promo that came through as as yeah. from i picked up at aircon a couple of years ago um and some other like random vignette expansions that you can throw in like Terra from yes. below like that sort of thing you can just sort of mix in you don't have to combine with stuff but you can those ones you can just play with any set so i could do a i could basically tick off three things at once by going i'll play this yeah. this location with this final girl and this vignette expansion i could do three yep. at once and that kind of ticks it off um so far i, I mean last time i sat down to play final girl which was earlier this month because um, we're a couple, yeah. we're a couple of weeks in, as as it is, um, I had yes. some time on my own. I played three games of Final Girl back to back in different locations and different killer sets, so I kind of ticked three off. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. And this one is one which is going from January through December because I have kickstarted the season three um, uh, stuff, which yeah, won't yeah. arrive until later in the year. So hopefully, it'll, I'll have that will arrive in good time. I'm not entirely certain when that's delivering. Yeah. probably sometime in the spring maybe the early summer yes. so i want to give myself plenty of time to to actually sit down and play those um because that is just going to be solo games so it's relatively easy for me to just go oh eh, laura's out i'm just going to sit and play yeah two or three of these and knock them out of the park i don't know if it's coming up but um one of the things i wanted to do which i think I'm, it's probably gonna be more of a next year challenge thinking way 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 ahead mm. is going to be around playing a bit more solo games i think just getting yeah. back to seeing and, and playing some solo games so um yeah be interested to see how your uh, final girl stuff goes yeah uh, and in fact whether you have any favorites off the back of it as well yeah um, that i mean i may come into it and have a or whatever. i might have a ranking right. at the end of it of which like feature yeah. set and all that sort of yeah. stuff 
So yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm going. There's, I think there may be some more bits and pieces that are tucked in there. Like I think there's probably a few pro. There's like a promo. I think Jamie from Voss of the Meeple is now a promo yes. in that season three Kickstarter set, which I haven't included on the challenge. But to be honest, yeah. that will be just a case of I'm just going to slot her in, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah so much you know kind of adds in it may get updated as i find out stuff arrives so yeah looking forward to seeing how that comes together it's yeah, yeah. Be fun yeah cool do you want to hear about mine yeah please uh so i got uh another one i don't know are you doing this as well i don't know if you were doing this as well which is to play mine and your top games from each year so obviously we've got our video series which we're halfway through uh, so 2018 so far yeah yeah okay maybe yeah ish. yeah uh ish so um uh so basically when luke's i i kind of introduced luke into the wider world of of board games mm -hmm. so we've we're running on a video series from each, our favorite games in each of those ones so i'm just going to take the top game from each year for you and dice that's mm -hmm. going to be like uh, how many years are we actually doing in the end? it'll be eight years because i think because we'll, we, we'll go years? from tw yeah 2015 16 17 yeah. 18 19 20 21 22 23 so nine years nine years okay there we go so there'll be 18 games total mm -hmm. potential with some crossover so maybe a little bit less because i think yeah. one of them i think we definitely have got the duplicate i can remember um obviously again the games on that not necessarily formed up yet because we've not finished the series yet so i'll just be playing there loads along as we as we go along um but uh but yeah so that'd be good because then that's basically it's the same thing as my last one where i said about playing my favorite games mm -hmm. it's about playing the game making sure i actually play the games that i enjoy and i'm not just chasing the newer game basically yeah and so. i feel like we need to make the effort i think i will jump in on that challenge with you because then that means we're playing more games together which is always yes. a nice thing yes. and if we try and make sure that those are physical plays rather than bga yes because there's a couple of games honest. on there like so far we've come across things like uh architects of the west kingdom that is on yes. bga we could easily knock that yes. out in a day but yeah. i've got the collector's edition with expansions yes. and stuff which would be yes, more fun exactly, to sort of right? to yeah, play yeah, out yeah, so yeah. yeah i will jump in on that one and join in on that and we'll see how that one goes um we've already got yeah. half a dozen games picked out so yeah we can just keep adding to that and see where we go with it yeah yeah um my next one which i think you're doing as well so we mm -hmm. kind of get a little bit of crossover is campaign games yes i want to play some of my campaign games because I've, I've got five so, of them on my list um that i want to play five times so i want to get through as many as much of the campaign as as really possible and yeah. then kind of see if that's the sort of style that i want to do because realistically once well campaign and story driven games is probably a clear way yeah. of saying that some of these are legacy games some of these are just a campaign style game where you run through them so my my five yeah. games are legacy of mm -hmm. you from garfield games which yeah. is a another solo only game is. which is it's kind of cool i've played that three times already because <laughs> i set it up and just went, let's give this a go and yeah. just blitz through it so solo legacy game quite easy to do the king's dilemma which i think is on your list yes, as well it is on my list as well yes um which the same is challenge, same, same game which is going to be a tricky one because that is three player minimum yes we've already started we started it on my stag do um, so it's yes. just a case of the frequency of those players getting together to play that rather yes. than playing D D. <laughs> yes i was going to suggest to you i mean we're just we're now making plans uh whilst we're recording but i was going to suggest to you about doing it at the board game club near here and grabbing some people from that uh, yeah that might be a good shout of it as well because then you, you know that's quite regularly scheduled More, then yeah that probably and, is and you do shout. like we'll play this game for an hour and then we play a bigger game afterwards or something like that yeah so, yeah, yeah. Uh, um yeah. next one is near and far um, from Red yeah. Raven, which I think is also on yes. your list. It is also on my list, yes. Uh, so I've got a, a toss up between uh, Near and Far or Now and Never on which campaign. Maybe both of them are staying on the list. I don't really know. Mm -hmm. But I think Near and Far is more likely to be on that list. Yeah, it's the, the, list, it's the so. one we enjoyed the yes. most when we did all three of them. Yes. So we'll do that one. Yes. Uh, Pandemic Legacy Season 1, because I've started playing that with oh, okay. uh, Laura's sister and her husband. And we really enjoyed like they had never played pandemic before like base pandemic yes and we opened up the first surprise in the box and we're just like oh god this is yeah <laughs> oh this is tasty so we now know what we want to do with it so it's i feel like we're going to try and get regular game nights together so we can blitz through that campaign this year but i want to try and get at yeah, least five awesome. games played that game. yes that is it's a big one it's been sitting on my shelf for a while it's the number one game of all no it's number two game of all time isn't it at the moment yes um and i just i just want to play it uh, the last one is stuffed fables 
Um, ah, yeah. We, we started playing that, you, me, Laura, and Danny, and then we never got round to playing it again. Last time we played it was like 2022. I've not got that on my list, but you know what? It's probably one I'll add on there. Just because, I mean, assuming that it is us playing together. Well, um, that that is kind of dependent because Laura. I mean, it's the sort of thing Laura and I could just play two player and yeah. get through it, and it might just be one that we yeah. do. But because you and I have got a lot of games to play together, and I think we do have a lot of games to play together. So and yeah. having that one uh, would also be including Danny, and she, it doesn't. Yeah, she it feels does, like she's yeah. harder to get into legacy games, campaign games. It's. So. Um, I think. Well, I'm going to discuss that in a minute, um, mm. a little bit. But I think it's more around the length of time to play is the mm. challenge, again, toddler. Yes. So then it means like, oh, well, if you're going to sit down and play a game and it's Danny and I both playing, then... Who's watching the baby? Um, who's what? Yeah. And I mean, yeah, we can stick him in front of the TV or yeah, we can wait until he goes to bed. But then that's still a very like smaller time box than, yes. um, than like playing for two hours or an hour or whatever it may be. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so those, those um, are my oh, so, five campaign games. What are your yeah? So I've got other three. Um, yeah, I've got a really well. I've got quite a few actually. So I'm kind of um, uh, adjusting this list a little bit. I've got uh, Kings Dilemma. You've already mentioned Near and Far. You've already mentioned uh, the other ones I have on here. Obviously, I mentioned about Now and Never as well because yep. that was a uh, thing uh, related to Near and Far and Now and Never is also Sleeping Gods, which I've got, which I've still not played through. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I I think after I play through like the five, because well, I've got five games as uh, five plays as well. After I play through those five, I think I'll have a good idea about whether I want to keep it or not. Mm -hmm. Apparently, some of the things that really is really big bugbear for me is they resolved in the like the, one of the newer versions on Sleeping Gods. Uh, um, but I don't know if I'm going to be like, oh, I love this enough. Or maybe I will to be like, oh, I'll get the other thing. My biggest bugbear is there's like eight characters. Why am I having to control eight different characters? That's a lot, yeah. Own? And the intention was I played with Danny, as we just discussed, and obviously that becomes, like we just mentioned, is quite challenging. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a heavier game, yada, yada, yada. So, um, so yeah, I think sleep, it, really I need to play Sleeping Gods because I don't even know where it is my shelves anymore. Um, because um, yeah, I've had it for ages and I've only played it once. That's yeah. not really That's um, fair. enough um, as I wait for my camera to refocus. There you refocus. go. <laughs> Um, but talking of uh, legacy games, mm. which are shorter play times and so are a success to play as a couple, is we're playing through um, Legends of uh, the West. Uh, oh, nice. Tried. So with our neighbours, and that is much easier because that's literally they're like half hour games or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. we can blitz through them. Um, so we've played three games, I think, so far through the campaign. And this nice. is actually really, yeah, it's really good. So um, yeah, we seem to be enjoying that. But yeah, that's it quite... Um, it's much easier going um and then i've got sorry, i've got loads of them and then i've got uh two more i've only got two more uh one is undaunted stalingrad so mm -hmm. i am one game away from completing a campaign playthrough with that nice i think it's one game based on our ass ass assessment maybe two um but we're quite close to the end of that uh, so that'd be really good and then i want to kick it off again so because i think well mm -hmm. i played on one side i'll play on the other side and obviously there's different um different objectives and different uh, paths things. Yeah. through basically yeah the, 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 everything changes a little bit so so that's really good and i got a better understanding of the game as well like i'm um i made half a blunder where i merged two units together or two like squads together but then um what i didn't realize was there's no reinforcements essentially for one of the squads so when i merged a b and c together i kind of um stitch myself up because I put loads of C's in there but there's no replacements for C's if they die basically gotcha so, you know. uh, so that was painful but anyway so learning lessons and stuff like that and the last one I've got on this list is Mythwind which I haven't mm. got yet but I think it's being delivered in a month or so so should be within, yes. within that area again another like very chill kind of um, um, like village building game basically yeah, um, yeah. from Open Owl Studios so um, yeah that'd be really good that'd be much more a relaxed game hopefully to come to come through but we're, nice. again we, we see how how much the enjoyment is so that was quite a long a segment but i've got quite a few so, games in there because those are those are the games which sit on my shelf for ages that's why i'm kind of putting that's the thing yeah campaign and legacy games are that's why i kind of want to make a concerted effort to play these yeah. five and to get them five times because they'll be harder ones to do but we kind of need to actually yes. you actually need to get into them because i think the early game of them is always a little bit of an intro yeah. game it doesn't necessarily yeah. grab your attention yeah whereas you can just then go 
Whoop. And we had a lot of fun playing Adventures of Robin Hood last time. Like, we blitzed yeah. that entire campaign in the mm. first half of the year because we sat down and we were just like, let's play this. It was really easy to play scenario back to back. Um, so that's a that's a good experience to feed on yeah. and just yeah. like try and actually push through them. Cool. Um, I've well, got one more. I have one more as well. Oh, nice. Do you want to go first? I will. My last one is to play mm. my entire collection. And that is with two slight caveats. So this is the one which is going from Christmas Day through to uh, Christmas Eve yeah, makes sense. next year because yes. I played a whole bunch of games between Christmas and New Year's. Like Christmas yeah. Day, Boxing Day, we played a bunch of games. You and I played, met up twice for book game evenings where we played yeah. like three games each. Yeah. Um, this one I've got... So at the moment, I've got 179 different games yeah. that are listed on there. Now that does not include things like uh, Unmatched, and villainous where i have yeah. they are technically considered as separate games but they are standalone expansions of the same yeah. game because i did a lot of unmatched in last month last year because we had to play unmatched multiple times and we did a lot of disney villainous for laura's 10 by 10 yes so for the purpose of it we can mix and match those sets together so it kind of doesn't really matter yeah. so much i just want to play the system and focus on yeah. playing more yeah, games because those ones i enjoy anyway um there's also a couple which, like Taco Hat Goat Cheese Pizza and Taco Cat Cake Gift Pizza. They're yes. the same game, they're just different things. They just are. different words that you have to say. So they are considered the same game, basically. Yeah. Um, but for certain things like... Um, oh, God, what's a good example? Let me look over at the shelf. Seven Wonders and Seven Wonders Duel. They yes. are two different games. They are, they are. part of the same they series, but they're two different, different games. Yeah. They're different, different systems in them. Yeah, exactly. So that's going to be good. I'm also putting in there games that I get between now and March. And the end of okay, March. Okay, is that your cutoff, is it? End of March, because this, yeah. is the, this is the trap I fell into and probably why I had 12 games left over yeah. last year was I w was adding games to the challenges the year went on. Yes. So when I purchased a game in October, I then had two months to try play that game, basically. Yeah, and so I, I did play it, to be fair, because it's a new game. But you yeah. did. Um, but yeah, I'm going to the end of March because... Uh, there's a maths trade going on right now, which I'm a part of, which, yes. I, which actually closes today. So I should get, I might get a couple of new games out of that one. Uh, I'm yeah. going to HandyCon this weekend on Sunday, yeah, so I might see some. Yeah. I might play something there that I see and I go, "Ooh, cool!" Yes. Um, and I'm maybe going to <laughs> Aircom. Maybe <laughs> that is very much dependent on whether we get everything. Because yeah. I'm getting married at the end of March, so that's probably like an appropriate time to go. Yeah, we'll just cut off on the new games here. So there is yeah. a. There's a possibility, based on based on the list of things that we've got left to do, that I might be yeah. able to go there. If I can go there, great. If I can't, oh well. It's yes. it's fine. But it'll depend on things that I can get from the bring and buy or from the yeah. vendors there, because that's a bigger convention than HandyCon. And I think yes. the, the bring and buy system at HandyCon feels weird to me, but that's yeah. a whole other thing. Um, so we'll give that a go and we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, so I've given myself, end of March, any new games I get from there, because... If I manage to get another twenty-one games between now and the end of March, yeah, which is very, yeah. which is a possibility, um, yeah. then that's two hundred games to play over the course of a year, and I don't want to keep adding on to that. There's a very real possibility, though, that games that I buy are because I've played them. I'm doing a more concerted effort to try before I buy yeah. this year. Um, so it might be a case of just adding them in, and then I've already played them. So. It, yeah, kind of sways things up. So we'll see what happens. And I might not be going to any other conventions throughout this year, um, but I am planning on going to Japan in October. Yes. Which there's a couple of games I want to pick up which are exclusive in Japan, like Nana, which yes. is trio in English, but it's Nana, uh, which I prefer the artwork of it, and Rumble Nation, which is really hard to get anywhere yeah. other than Japan. I think you can yeah. do a like Amazon. USA, you can order it, and it will, oh, anyway, weird. which is, but you can't get it to the UK, which is the whole thing. So there might be some games I pick up, but that's at the end of the year. I'm not really going to worry too much about yeah. adding things into yeah. them. I might go to UKGE in June, maybe for yeah. a, for a day, but I don't tend to. I haven't tended to buy a huge amount when I've been at UKGE, no, just because yeah. bargains and stuff. But anyway, so that's that's my thing. So currently it's 179 realistically it might go up by like six games between now and yeah, the end yeah. of march maybe we'll see what happens cool nice 
Good. Yeah, it's good. What I say, it was re- was really beneficial last year. So yeah, I mean, I'm already I'm already 25 games in, uh, and yes. I am including digital yeah. plays of these, by the way. So things that played on BGA, I am including those, except for certain exceptions. So things like Tapestry, where yes. I have all the stuff together. A, I know I'm going to play that at some point because you love it, and I'm going to play I, it with yeah. you physically at some yeah. point anyway. Um, and I've got all the stuff for it, so I kind of need to do it. Viticulture is another one that I could have done on BGA yeah, yeah. and smashed up, but I've got the Tuscany expansion, the World expansion. Yeah. I kind of want to do all those things together. Wingspan is another one like that. There are yes. other games that are not Stonemire that are like that, like <laughs> like Quacks and Quedlinburg. I've got a lot. Of there you go. You rescued yourself. Expansions. You got yourself <laughs> Stonemire hole. Uh, like Quacks and Quedlinburg, which is actually crossover yes. onto our um, top games of 2018 list because you had that on yours. I've got yes. Mega Box, which has both expansions plus some upgraded bits yes. and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of different bits and pieces to go into that. So that's yeah, that's the main thing is just getting those games. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, my my last uh, challenge that I've got uh, is one of a recent obsession of mine because that, that's what happens. Um, is Lucerta <coughs> games. Yes. So um, my intention is only one play, but one play of each. Now I'm going to be trying to be very specific about this because um, CO2 kind of dips in and out of this list, and I think I'm going to remove it from this list. Okay. I'm going to be very specific. I think it's going to be Eagle Griffin published Lucerda games. Okay. So basically, I'm saying anything in one of these boxes. Yes. So boxes. So that is to be played. So that is on Mars Weather Machine, The Gallerist, uh, Kanban oh, EV, and yes. Lisboa. Vinos and Vinos. And Deluxe. in the newer version, if I can get hold of it, which is inventors, play, invention, inventions, yeah. inventions, yeah. yes, yes, um, yeah, yeah, nice. Because yeah, CO two um, does. Oh, actually, escape plan as well, which you oh escape plan that was the other one which you yes, haven't got yes, yet because that yes, is yes, yeah. it keeps popping up on lists and I keep sending you listings and you're just like yeah, you do I don't want to I don't want to buy resisting. it yet I'm resisting I need to play through all of those ones again yes. first because I think. I... I have now played all of them at least once in the last like. Oh, have you now played? Months, you've now played Vinyos. Like so. Oh no, Vinyos. Oh, no, not played. No, so no, yeah, Vinyos. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, yeah. On my shelves, that where I have uh, access to the game, I've played them also. Out of interest, um, what is yeah, your so, what's your favourite of those so far? So far, still I mean, Lisboa. Apart from favorite. apart from Lisboa, we'll take that out. Cause... Oh, okay, right, okay, okay. But now we're just. Uh... I did quite enjoy Kanban. Hmm. Um, I think. I think the gallerist beats it out just. Okay. I think. I think. I need to play on Mars again because the, the, uh, Mars is the one which I play least recently. recently. Yeah, we played that on um, my birthday, didn't we? Yeah. And so the machine we, we need to, to play actually through. play properly. Um, yes, but, and complete the game as well. So yeah, but we've got a good flavour of where the machine not that long. Ago, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, that'd be good. I mean, again, that's a. I mean, we could do. I could probably. Um, um, we can play. I could. We probably do a video, or even have a discussion about them at some point. Yes, we can play through all of them. Like, we, yeah, we'll give them another play, and we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, there was one thing I was going to throw in at the end, hmm. which is not really a challenge, as in like a challenge with official challenge, games yeah. or whatever. Um, but something I want to try do more of is actually rate the games as I'm playing them. Okay, because I'd really be interested to see not now, not even probably next year, but maybe the following year, like how each year mm. how my um uh, opinions of games changes basically um and what i do and don't like um because i play a lot of games and sometimes i kind of forget like you've just done there hey which one's which lucerda is your favorite and i'm a bit like oh this one's good for that 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 but it's just whatever i remember about the games at the time yeah and the feeling i have rather than the oh actually i've just played this game how do i feel about it and then just so i want to make sure i'm doing some more rating on board game geek for example yeah and that might be something that we do like later in the year we do another check-in on our top 50 games yeah to sort of see how things have changed from last time we've played more of our games recently i feel like going between that and maybe the end of the year might be a good one so like mid-year yes. when we played a lot more yes. of our games and then when we get to the end yeah. of the year we like we play them all see where it goes um, yeah, so that is our challenges for the year. What are you guys doing as part of your challenges for 2024? Mm. Do you have any board gaming resolutions that you want to try and clear your shelf of shame? Which actually, to be fair, that's probably part of mine is to clear everything yeah. that is on my shelf that I've not played. Um, I already know that there's a game that I've played in my collection so far that has already been culled uh, yes. because it's just like, 
I, d I don't want to play this anymore. I don't need to have this on my shelf kind of thing. So, which was Seven Wonders, the OG drafting games. Like, I've, got other, yeah. I've got other drafting games I'd rather play, and I can play Seven Wonders on BGA, so it's not so bad. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so those are our challenges for the year. Let us know in the comments below what you think and how well you think we're going Jeez. to do on them. Um, I mean, how many did you have last year that you were playing as your challenges? Like 120-ish? Uh, yeah, about that, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and you didn't quite make it. But then again, you had a yeah. child, you had more commitments on that one, whereas my main thing is I'm getting married at the end of March and honeymoon in October. So I've got plenty of time to do yeah. these things, and my partner is more available to play games, which yes. does help. Yes, that helps. And also you. So, you know, there's that. Yes. So, yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about me. You meant... You meant Oh, my, my board game, I mean, my wife is also, my future yeah, yeah, wife will yeah, yeah. also be available to yeah. play games, whereas yes. my board game husband, which, yes, you know, that's exactly. a much, that's yeah. a much deeper commitment, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. is, is going to be a thing. So yeah, so that's where we're at. Yeah. We will, uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. We'll probably check in at time to time. Like what you see, like, subscribe, do all the stuff so that you Please. can catch up with the videos, ring the, hit the bell so that you get the, the notifications when we do another Punch the bell! I mean, we're leaking in from D&D &D here a little bit. We are a little so, bit. We're yeah. getting trolled. Check out our D&D &D campaign, because that's all good yes. fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Awesome. Bye.